Hey, Crypto Growth Fam, how's it going? This is your host, Shahzeb, signing in. We're back with another video, guys. In this video, we will be discussing Hedera and Ripple. The world is changing. It's going to be an interesting one, guys, so make sure to watch till the end. And folks, for those of you who are new to the channel, we primarily discuss utility coins and potential gems. If you're interested in any of that stuff, then subscribe the channel and hit the notification icon for regular videos. And you can also support the channel by becoming a Patreon, so do check that out as well, only if you're interested. And folks, keep your assets safe, and for that, you guys can check out the Crypto Growth exclusive discount offer on Decent. Decent is convenient, safe, and secure. You can check out their biometric wallet, which has got an attractive $50 off. And you can also check out their biometric wallet 2x package, guys, which has got a phenomenal $129 off only if you follow the link in the description box below. By the way, folks, Decent supports 3,000 plus of your favorite coins and tokens, and it supports 50 plus blockchain mainnets, including Hedera and Ripple. I personally prefer storing the assets in a cold hardware wallet, so do check out Decent and be safe. Anyways, guys, now let's see what's happening with HBAR and XRP in real time. What are, what are the communities of both saying? And uh, if there is any new info, what are the official handles saying? Let's see what's happening. So guys, as far as Adara is concerned, this is the price uh, as of right now, 0 0.052, almost five, 5 cents going to uh, going up to test that five and a half cents uh, hopefully let's see what's happening let's go hadera hash graph okay cool hashback app hits 125.9 million packs staked in the first week only 295 million circulating awesome 2025 bull run will melt faces let's hopefully it, uh, it let's hope it does look at this guys a bit of technical over here hbar one day 0 0.036 is the invalidation point for the bullish scenario the bullish scenario is not very clear according to more crypto online uh, because the white c wave to the upside is probably a diagonal pattern the price needs an upside reversal from here to keep the white scenario alive a break above 0 0.064 almost six and a half cents is minimally needed to indicate that the bulls are making a comeback so according to this uh, uh, this one uh, it's saying that six and a half is almost required over here for us to see clearly that the bulls are back so let's hope so guys because there are a lot of support levels over here but uh, obviously, guys, resistance levels around the six cent, uh, six cent level as well. Let's hope that uh, the uh, it it plays out well because, guys, the chances are that it will do because uh, the fundamentals are gaining steam again. Let me show you a really interesting post in a moment. They are shaking you out. Patience, the calm before the storm. Okay. So yeah, this is what I was talking about. Look at this, Amtech Inc. Amtech is making something amazing on HBAR in the CBDC field. Hadera is my largest investment. I believe they are the only adult in the crypto room. Because of this, they have a lot of partnerships with corporations. Remember, always ask how your lovely crypto project will earn money. HBAR knows how. Uh, look at this guy, CBDC Innovation Platinum Winner, Mtech. And Mtech is involved with uh, uh, HBAR. Look at this. Let me show you over here. Tokenizer gave a really interesting post about them as well. Uh, let me show you. Yeah, I think it was around here. Yeah, this one, this one right here. Glad to see we're on the same page. Mtech underscore Inc. One of my favorite utilities developing on HBAR due to how it brings central banking DLT innovation to Hedera. Just this year alone, we've seen some strong progress out of Mtech's CBDC development, integration into BSN UTPN, investment by Accenture, launch of Beyond Compliance, Bank of Ghana, ECDI hackathon on Mtech. So they are gaining steam, they are building. Uh, they are providing CBDC, CBDC solutions or at least aim to provide it. We've seen a variety of in-house CBDC solutions by central banks such as the BIS Unified Ledger. But the industry is ripe for fintechs that are bringing the whole CBDC package from the pri private sector. 
mtech is that solution the best part is how they utilize both hts for creation of tokens and hcs for institutional grade consensus thanks to their governance council the cbdc's we've seen so far from names like bis have just about 100 percent been private permissioned dlts guys 100% private permission to DLTs, but uh, we haven't seen those innovative CBDCs. This is largely because there is no current public DLT that can truly host CBDCs at a central bank trusted level. And obviously, Hedera and these projects, guys, they are basically bridging both the worlds, uh, trying to forge the bridge be between the legacy systems and the, and the blockchain realm. That is unless you have a validator council of some of the biggest, most reputable names on earth. The choice of MTech building on Hedera brings the best of both worlds. Institution, grade, trust, open public ecosystem. I mean, this is the partnership that we are looking at, guys, when it comes to Hedera, when we see MTech. Awesome, guys. This was a really decent news. As far as XRP is concerned, guys, let's see what the community is saying. This is the price, almost 55 cents over here. Uh, Jack the Ripper has posted this. Breaking. Uh, Bricks Pay has been successfully tested at the Bricks Business Forum. Bricks is real and ready to use blockchain technology. Guys, this is obviously a speculative at, at, as of this point, but obviously uh, anything can happen when it comes to uh, finance going forward. XRP has already been integrated into the BRICS nations. Okay, I mean, that is huge. Uh, if indeed it is true, obviously. Uh, let's see what, what do we have over here. Uh, okay, yeah. Look at this, guys. The world is changing. Jack the Ripple has replied with a solid yes. That indeed is. And I, I agree, guys. The world indeed is changing and... Uh, uh, ready to basically take take go to that next uh, step uh, forward and uh, go to that next level and blockchain is that next level guys when it comes to finance and trying to make the world an easier place for payments and other stuff digitalization of payments and implementation of innovations in the payment market international trends in digitalization of the payment sector Diagram of the mechanism of cross-border money transfer is transfers in the Ripple system. Look at this, guys. Transfer of tokens to number one, exchange of transfer amount for internal tokens, Japanese yen, euro, US dollar. But in case of uh, BRICS, guys, they will have their own money, like uh, the Indian rupee. India is involved. China, China is involved. Uh, whereas uh, ruble, I think uh, Russia is involved. If we if we are talking about bricks, exchange of transfer amount for internal tokens number one, number two, transfer of tokens to DLT networks, and in this case we're talking about Ripple XRP. Uh, XRP is going to be used as that bridge currency. Exchange tokens for the recipient's currency, and this all hap all this happens in a blink of an eye, guys. And then we get uh, uh, Mexican peso or Philippine peso. Thai bot and uh, everything, guys. Look at this. Financial market participants see the potential in using smart contracts and use them in their business processes. Smart contracts are used in transactions with letters of credit in the framework of international supply of goods to optimize interbank clearing, clearing and settlements. Uh, 35 to control the conditions of cross border transfers. Uh, not only cross-border transfer, guys, and even guys in internally, I think uh, in the intra-state uh, level, it's going to be uh, transforming the entire system if it is a success, guys. Uh, regulators in a number of countries are piloting uh, reporting systems managed by smart contracts. Smart contracts and their infrastructure are significant areas of investment by financial institutions in distributed processing technologies. In 2022, the size of such investments reached a five-year high, exceeding US dollar 36.15 
billion. And guys, as far as the DLTs, the distributed ledger, ledger networks are concerned, look at this. The spread of distributed ledger networks and smart contracts have created conditions for the development of asset tokenization. This is an entire different uh, asset class of its own, guys, and it is here to disrupt trillions of dollars, guys. The transfer of asset issu issuance processes and transactions with them to the digital environment. The asset is presented in the form of a special token, usually issued and circulated in the DLT network. That special token, guys, uh, be it... The, the real estate related to real estate or any other sector which is being tra which is being tokenized a luxury good a watch it can be anything guys it can be then traded it can be, in, be invested into a whole new asset class a whole new market tokens can be issued for a wide range of assets look at this securities inventories real estate real estate is 100 100 trillion dollar plus marketplace guys even more than 200 trillion dollar if i'm not wrong uh tokenization can certainly help the liquidity of an asset this is what we're talking about guys when it comes to uh these dlts these projects such as uh, hadera such as ripple i mean this is awesome guys uh, this is great let's see what's happening with the ripple official handle ripple swell fireside with dan pantera and ben, uh, Brad Garlinghouse, an amazing two days of groundbreaking ideas and unparalleled opportunities to connect. Thank you, Miami. As the title of Opportunity Rises, the promise of blockchain lifts all boats. Awesome. Crypto scams are evolving, but so are the strategies to avoid them. Deborah McCrimmon, VP and Deputy General Counsel at Ripple, was joined by Philip Martin. Chief Security Officer at Coinbase to discuss the importance of continued education. Obviously, guys, uh, as this, uh, we haven't seen more scams in uh, anywhere else than the crypto world, guys. That's for sure. I agree. Global banks are evolving to meet the demands of custody and security. I'm glad that Ripple, guys, it is giving updates to the investors. I really like when these projects do that. Hadara does that constantly as well. You guys can see over here. Yeah, two hours ago, the Hashgraph team just launched NFT Studio, the all-in-one toolkit for creating and managing NFTs on Hadera. Here's a breakdown of the tools and how to gu how to guides. Let's see this over here. Okay. Uh, yeah, build custom lists of your most loyal day zeros for special rewards or airdrops with NFT token holder list builder. We're excited to announce NFT Studio, an open source, all-in-one NFT management toolkit for creating, managing, and maintaining NFTs and token-based projects on the Hadera network. NFT Studio provides an intuitive interface and suite of easy-to-use tools. Awesome. A great read. Find out how Hiero brings together Google, IBM, Dell, and others to shape the future of open source DLT. This is great, guys. You guys can check this out if you're interested. How, find out how Hero brings together Google, IBM, Dell, and others to shape the future of open source DLT. Let me just take you through this. Let me show you this. You guys can go and read this out yourselves. At the landscape of uh, decentralized trust, uh, as the landscape of decentralized trust continues to evolve. Open source technology play a pivotal role in driving innovation and fostering collaboration. So how does it do that? The power of open governance with Hero now operating under LF decentralized trust. Hadera's transition from a centralized governance structure to a fully open source model opens new doors for developers and enterprises alike. It provides uh, then opportunity to build on it, obviously, building a collaborative developer ecosystem. The transition to Hero is a pivotal step in Hadera's evolution. It encourages collaboration within the developer community, breaking down silos that can stifle innovation. Awesome. Bridging the gap between Web 2 and Web 3 alike. A key theme in the discussion was how Hero will bridge the gap between traditional Web 2 developers and the emerging world of Web 3. Milan Vierk van Rijn, a builder and creator within the Hadera ecosystem, shared his own journey 
So look at this, he has said that a few years ago, I wasn't a developer, but over time, I learned how to go code and build a peer-to-peer -peer payment system on Hedera. Hiero nurtures the spirit of collaboration and allows more people like me to get involved and contribute to the Hiero code base. It is accelerating climate and su sustainability projects on blockchain. One of the most exciting aspects of Hedera's open source transition is its impact on climate and sustainability projects. Awesome. As we look into the future, guys, what comes next for Hiero and Hedera? As the panel discussion drew a close, the excitement around Hiero and the future of Hedera was palpable. Samson Gaudi, a community leader and open source advocate, encapsulated the enthusiasm. How? He said that we're launching initiatives like Hacktoberfest Hector, to encourage co contributions from a broader community. There are many ways to get involved, whether you're writing code or contributing through documentation and community, community building efforts. The commitment to inclusivity is central to Hedera's open source vision. Hiero is not just about expanding the code base, it is about fostering a diverse, collaborative community of developers, businesses, and organizations that will shape the future of decentralized technology. So guys, this is how Hedera and uh, we've we talked about Ripple plan to change the world. So guys, what do you guys think about Hedera and Ripple? Do you believe that the world is indeed, the financial world is indeed changing? I would really like your opinions. Do hit the comment box below and let the community know. Anyways, guys, this was it for the video. If you liked it, make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification icon if you're interested in utility coins and potential gems. And you can also support the channel by becoming a Patreon. So do check that out. Like I always say in the end, until next time, stay blessed and stay tuned. Thank you very much, everyone.